All right, moving on to this um, this this program. It's called Brawl Custom Music Program. The real name for it is called Brawl Custom Song Maker GUI, which is Graphic User Interface, which means you can click on stuff and you don't have to type anything in. Um, and then it's made by Dan Terion and Bionic Sonic. Thanks, guys. Okay, so this is a very helpful program. Um, if you... I don't know how you would do it without this program, like, you know, make your own uh, music, like custom music, because I haven't done it before, like, with a different program. I'm sure there's some kind of berm sturm. I call that, that's what I call the format um, for the ball sounds. It's B R S T M files. I saw you call them berm sturm, berm sturm, berm stim, whatever. And. You just uh, you have to make those files and then like name it the right name and then put them in uh, this right directory, the uh, pf slash sound slash strm folder. That's the folder directory. I'll just show you real quick. Private, we app rsbe pf sound strm, and then here's all your stuff, and they're all like names like you know f. Zero nine or D. The, I don't know why I have these. Like, okay, I, these are from hacks because you know people don't name them because they people don't name them the file that you're going to use them for because they don't know what you want to use them for. You just download the sound file that's a berm stem, and then you name it to whatever you want to use it for. They don't, they don't know what you want to use it for, so that's why it's not named like. Z07 or something. Okay, so how you use this? First, you click on this button that says select SD folder, SD card, or or a folder, in case you're using a folder and then you're going to copy it over later. But you need to have a folder that has private Wii app, RSBE, PF, sound, STRM. You need to have all that crap in there. Or, I think if you click on some spot it'll just say yeah are you sure you selected the right folder folder structure not detected select the root of your SD card or the folder you want to copy to your SD card create the folders for me I picked the wrong folder so you can tell it to create the folders for you if you want so I picked the wrong folder so I already did this because I have like a ton of music files like um, changed in here so uh, it, it, it takes a while for this to load up, so I just had it like load up for me beforehand so you guys wouldn't have to wait and it wouldn't be like lagging my computer. So, we got all these like hacked sounds in that I have, and then you probably would not have a list here unless you downloaded some stuff. So, next what you need to do is click the add button top left, click the add to queue, and then you can use mp3s, WAV files, AUG files, and FLAC files. I don't know who the heck uses FLAC files, but hey. I've seen it in some of the... I've seen it in one soundtrack I downloaded, which was, a, which was the remixes of... Overclocked remixes of Donkey Kong Country 2 soundtrack, but um, I don't... know why you use a, why we use FLAC. No, I don't know anyone who uses FLAC. I, don't, I wonder... What is a what's what's a FLAC file? Is is it any better than an MP3 file? You know, someone tell me that. Anyway, let's just choose like Team Chaotix or something. That's a song I got. And then we just open that, and then we click uh, convert to BRSTM. I've already done that, so after you just click on the convert button, and it will convert it into that. And then it will have it over here at the top of the list, right here on the right side. Or not, or left side. This is the left side. Sorry. Two SD card. Click on the two SD, and then it'll say which song do you want to replace. You choose the stage, like let's say Luigi's Mansion, and then let's say we want to replace the Tetris Type A file. Or not file, song. You want to replace Tetris Type A with the Tin Kiax theme. I don't know why you do that unless you put a Sonic state on there. But whatever. Click replace. And it should do it 
but I think mine is like not we're not weren't working today because uh, when I do that, it doesn't do it. I don't think it liked my uh, Team Cadex file or, or something's wrong here. Because I tell it, Luigi's Mansion, Tetris Type A. I've done this so many times and it's never given me trouble, but I click replace and it's like, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm thinking maybe I don't have enough space left in my uh, SD card. Let's just see if that's the problem. See, there, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. It doesn't tell you you don't have enough space on your SD card for this file, but it at least tells you it's not going to do it because something is wrong. It doesn't tell you anything, though. You gotta make sure that it did it. Though, just make sure you have, like, enough space on your SD card, because that's pretty much the only thing I've seen that it doesn't tell you, like, oh, yeah, you don't have enough space on your SD card. I'm not gonna do this, so. It worked, and if I click play, I should be able to hear the song, but I don't hear anything, which is weird, because if I click play on this song, I hear it just fine. I mean, you can't hear it, because I don't have my sound turned on, but I hear it. So let's see if I can like play it in Winamp, because my Winamp is configured to play these, these type of files. I just Google it. I don't know where to find uh, like you know the the plugins for Winamp to play these files from Brawl, but it's not that hard to figure out. So let's just. It doesn't tell you what the name of the file is, though. I kind of don't like that. Like you don't know, but I do know where you can find out. Arrange icons by modified. Last modified file Q10 because that's the last file that was made or modified in this folder. So there you go, now you know which one is the newest. And it's playing. I can hear it just fine on Winamp. So this thing is not wanting to do it, but at least I know now it will work in game and we're fine. So that's all you need to worry about for this thing. Let's see, uh, so this is where you keep all your files that you've turned into a BRSTM. And these are all the stuff that's on your SD card. And then you can delete them from your SD card. So this is like a, you can be like a folder manager too. So you can like delete them, you can move them. Ooh, you can move them to different stages. Nice. So it'll like rename them or something to what stage you want to change it to. And sometimes it'll give you that error and that's annoying. <clears throat> so that's, that's annoying. Um, just tell it you want to quit and just reset the program. It's not that big of a deal. Don't send. Okay, I'm back. I figured out what this is for. Export is like if you. I I'm going to assume. I have not looked it up. I don't know the. I watched some else's tutorial. It didn't tell me what this does, and I don't know what it does entirely really. But I'm going to assume that it takes all of the names. Like okay, right here. Uh, I ha like I have this song it's called uh undo by cool joke it's the full my alchemist intro opening three and i have it i have the, the original name of the song put in here as a display name and you can export the display names to clipboard which you which means you copy them to um your copy text and you can paste it in a you know like a notepad and then to sounds db that makes a file it makes a file called song db but i whenever i try that it 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 just says this error and it doesn't work so it doesn't work fully anyway it gives me an error so don't use that instead just do this uh get the info.pac or, or info underscore en dot pac if you're using the revolution uh, if you're using revolution if you're not using revolution if you're using gecko use info dot pac and then open it and just go to miscellaneous data 140 at the, at the like at the mid bottom here and just um, look right here 
these are all the uh, different names for the, for the, the different music titles. So, for example, right here, we have the Sonic songs, like Sonic Boom, Emerald Hill Zone. Ah, you see, my, see, I changed Green Hill Zone to Emerald Hill Zone, because I changed that song. So, if you wanted to do that, just click right here, where it says, like, Sonic Boom, and then just type in, like, say, Team Chaotix, whatever you change it to. And then after that, it'll change it. So that now, whenever you look at the, the look at the song title in your music music options on Brawl, you'll say that name. You'll say the name that you changed it to. You'll say the name that you changed it to on the on the Brawl music options. And whenever you are playing a stage, and it says at the bottom of the screen what the name of the song is, it'll tell you at the bottom of the screen Tim Codex or whatever you changed it to. And so. It'll be the song you change it to, I and mean, that's really nifty. That's pretty awesome thing. So you don't like see the name of this. You can you can change the names too. So that's good. So just save it as uh, info underscore en dot pac, or if you're using Gecko, just use info dot pac, and then your song will be the right name. I didn't save it because I didn't want to put in Tim Cadix, but um, well I do, but <laughs> I didn't know what song it was. I didn't want to be. I, I, I didn't want it to be on Luigi's Mansion. That was just that was just that was just an example. So that's all I know about doing the whole custom music and brawl for hacking wise. So that's all I know. Hope this tutorial helped you guys out. I'll see you next time.